Hey there, fellow investors. Welcome back to my channel, where we discuss all things finance and investing. Today, I have an exciting video for you, as I'll be sharing my two favorite monthly dividend ETFs, Realty Income and SPHD. If you're someone who loves passive income and stable returns, you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. First up, let's talk about realty income or ticker symbol O. It's known as the monthly dividend company and has been a favorite among dividend investors for years. This real estate investment trust, or REIT, specializes in retail properties, and it's a cornerstone of many, of many portfolios seeking consistent cash flow. What sets realty income apart is its long track record of uninterrupted monthly dividends. They have an impressive streak of over six decades of consecutive monthly dividend payments. That's right, folks, 60 years of consistent income. When it comes to financials, realty income boasts a strong balance sheet and a real and a diversified tenant base with over 6,500 properties leased to more than 600 tenants, including well-known names like Walgreens, 7-Eleven and Dollar General. Their revenue streams remain steady and even during economic downturns. Now let's talk, talk numbers. Realty income currently offers an attractive dividend yield, typically above 4%, which is quite impressive for a reliable dividend paying stock. Moreover, the company has consistently raised its dividend year after year. Since its inception, Realty Income has increased its dividend for 92 consecutive quarters. Now that we've covered Realty Income, let's move on to our second monthly dividend ETF, Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, or for short, ticker symbol SPHD. SPHD focuses on providing investors with exposure to high dividend yield companies from the S&P 500 index. But what makes this ETF unique is its low validity approach, which can be beneficial to risk adverse investors seeking steady income without too much turbulence. HPHD tracks the S&P 500 low validity high dividend index, which selects the 50 stocks from the S&P 500 with the lowest realized validity over the past 12 months. This approach provides a balanced mix of high dividend yield and lower downside risk. When it comes to performance, SPHD has demonstrated solid returns over the years. While it may not deliver the same high yields as realty income, it provides a more diversified exposure to various sectors within the S&P 500 index. This diversification can help mitigate risk while still generating attractive income. So there you have it, folks my two best monthly dividend ETFs, Realty Income and SPHD. Realty Income is a fantastic option for those seeking a long-standing dividend powerhouse in the real estate sector, while SPHD offers a diversified approach with lower validity from the S&P 500 index. Remember, as always, it's crucial to do your own research and consider your own investment goals before making any sort of investment decisions. Monthly dividend ETFs can be an excellent addition to your portfolio, providing a consistent income stream. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and hit subscribe to my channel for more investment insights. Until next time, happy investing. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go.